Welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on Midwest Access. We appreciate you hanging along with us for this hour on this Friday. Cassandra Buck is here. She is the owner of Clover and Rose, and she joins us now. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing all right. So Good. we're talking about the holiday market yes. this yes. Sunday at Forager this Sunday, Brewery. Yes. Um, it's going to be a day filled with um, local shopping. There's going to be sleigh rides, music. A lot of fun. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah. So you have some embroidery work here in yeah. your hands. So there's going to be 10 vendors told, total local creators, but I just brought a couple of my items. Okay. Um, so I brought some an embroidery piece that I created, but I'm also going to be selling a lot of other things, jewelry, and then um, these uh, kits. embroidery kits. Yes. Which is fun. So you can learn... I yep. assume there's some um, step by step instructions. instructions. Yep. And you can learn how to embroider. Exactly. Clover and Rose, you have a storefront. Yes, and it is right next to Forager. Okay. Um, so I've worked at Forager for seven years now since they've opened. Oh, but okay. I've opened um, Clover and Rose five years ago. Okay. So, yeah. The holiday market, something people look forward to every year. You yes. mentioned sleigh rides, there's jazz music at night, mm -hmm. there's the holiday market. How do they have it all set up in there? Um, it gets a little crowded, but it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. So um, they come check in for the sleigh rides, and then people can look at the market, and then um, you know, and buy things. And then while they're waiting, um, and then when they get called for their sleigh ride, they can go out. Fun. Yeah. We don't so. have any snow this year, but I know. <laughs> I know right. someone said, but th there's no snow. I'm like, well, it's not an actual Make it work. sleigh. Right. It's got wheels. <laughs> you never actually needed the snow. Yeah, it just yeah, kind yeah. of added to the yeah. effect. And, and the horses, sleigh. it's fun. So. Yes. What's your yeah. favorite part about it? Um, just, you know, connecting with the community, showing them that we have so much local talent in Rochester, yeah. a lot of local artists, um, just sharing their wares and connecting with people. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Cassandra, she is an artist. You've painted murals. You do embroidery work. You have your own storefront. Yeah. You then you work at Forager as I well. I work at Forager. <laughs> and you were an art teacher. And at I was one an point. art teacher. Oh I do my all goodness. the things. What is your favorite art to form? Do? Yeah, or um, form. Painting for sure. Painting. Really? Yeah. Okay. I did, but I jump around. I I have like creative ADD. I call it. Okay. <laughs> I just kind of jump all over the place. When did you decide you might do some embroidery work? Um, so this all came out of the pandemic. Okay. Um, when the pandemic started, it was like something you calming. Some yeah. You know, it's very meditative. Okay. So. Do you yeah. teach it other than the kids? Um, Do you teach it to people? Yeah, I've taught classes. You have? Yep, at okay. Forager, because oh. we have classes there, too. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. So. All right. Well, Cassandra, thank you so much for yeah, joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, Appreciate the holiday it. market coming up on Sunday. On Sunday, yep. 10 a.m. things start. Yeah, 10 a.m. and all day, and then jazz jam in the evening. So. It's be a long day. Yeah, it Fun is. day, though. A long day. <laughs> More details on our website, k2tc.com. Thanks again for being here. Thank you. We have more to come on Midwest Access, uh, including a segment that was from the past that we're bringing back. Viv Williams is joining us next with some plants, some poinsettias. We'll be right back.